Well, hello everyone. Today we're solving day 14, advent of code. Uh, if it's a simple task, we'll just finish uh, edit and not going to like just that, nothing more. Uh, this is fast, it's fast. It's not, well, we'll have to solve it. Um, yeah, let's start. The incredible pressures at this depth are starting to put a strain on your submarine. Submarine has polymerization equipment that will produce speed voluntarily for us to the moment. The submarine manual contains instructions defining optimal polymer formula. It offers polymer to plane with this pair insertion rules and repuzzle input. You must just need to work out what polymer would result after repeating the pair insertion process a few times. Okay, okay. Uh, starting point for uh, pair insertion rule means that when NTP and immediately adjacent to MNC should be inserted between them, this insertion will happen simultaneously. So starting with the polymer template to NCBC. All three pairs, the first pair matches row on N, so the element C is inserted between the first N and the second N. Uh, okay, yeah. Not that these pairs overlap. Uh, second element of one pair is the first element of the next pair. Also, because all pairs are considered simultaneously, inserted elements are not considered to be part of a pair until the next step. Okay. After the first step of this process, the polymer becomes blah blah blah. Here are the results of a few steps using the above rules. Cool. Right. Uh, after step 5, it has length 97, after step 10, after step 10. After step 10. Um, mm -hmm. Quantity and subtracting the quantity of least common element produces. Okay. What do you get if you take the quantity of most common element and subtract the quantity of the least common element? Okay, so this is easy. Uh, let's start with an example. But this is super easy, like it's one expression basically, right? Mm, let's say. The day fourteen example, okay. Insert input here for the day one day fourteen. <laughs> Wait for the second part, okay. Uh, and just to simplify parsing, we are going to put this uh, the start on this as a separate separate input. Um, Okay, yeah, like this. Okay, uh, wait for the second part. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm excited for the second part. So what we are going to do is, well, first we probably need to parse those, right? Um, let's write the parse function, parse um, input, and it's basically, Res input, reseek, uh, what we're going to A to Z, A to Z, right? Arrow, A to Z. And we need to capture like this, this, and this separately. And uh, map. FN ABC. So what we want is a vector of AB and C, right? And we put it into uh, sorry, into map. Okay, so this is our parse method. Okay, let me start uh, Apple Connect uh, call B parse yes yes looks all right um, hmm. looks all right looks all right okay so part input so we actually like we input and start right but um, and then C B no no um, Default, default start is going to be this, but what we are going to do is 
as b like this. Okay. Um, now let's write a function that does that. It should be really easy. So we basically run reduce over well. over a character and the next character. Or, no, no, no. A character and a previous character. Like that. Uh, how do we do that? Is... So say we have ABC and what we want is A, B, B, C, right? Yeah. First start, um, well actually, we start with the first start here. It's map vector, I think. Yes, map vector start next start so the problem is mm, those are not strings those are characters but those are here are strings um, we can fix that by doing that okay uh, why we need that because this all produces characters <coughs> and finally we write a function so function uh, is going to be accumulator and previous and current character and if some ins, um, yeah, I forgot, let um, rules parse input, right? So we take row, make rules here. We try to look up uh, pref ch in rules. If there is some insertion, then into arc goes pref uh, in ch, otherwise just pref ch. And we do then result. Oh, no, no, no. Um, so this is one step, right? So this is like step. Okay, let's write a function called step. Uh, and it takes rules, it takes start, and it takes... What else does it take? Um, rules, start... That's it, right? Rules and start. And basically does what we do here. Right. Uh, step will start. Let's see what we get as a result of applying this. Uh, this is one, right? But so this is. Um, just to check and see no we get something wrong and c and b c h b. yeah because we, we are not supposed to insert previous character actually Ok, 
okay and c and b c h b okay looks correct um now we need to apply 10 steps right so what we do use for that is a function called i think repeatedly repeatedly no repeat iterate yeah iterate okay so how we we call iterate and take like 10 so if we call one um, <laughs> start iterate um, f x step rules percent right and Uh, but this is not correct. <laughs> okay, so start Okay, let's see if we get this right. Okay, we get something real one um, In time for stream. Hello, come for species Welcome to the stream. Yes, we're just in time um what do we do okay. maybe a little bit like this so now we calculate the frequencies what right freaks mm, frequencies res so how many top is uh, well we can actually sort by second and what we want to do is well actually we can map second and then just sort and we, what we return is minus first freaks minus last freaks right. we don't know which uh, letters we care about okay 15 yeah it looks correct right now for the real for three but Problem. Yeah. Okay. So three o nine five. Three o nine five. That's the right answer. Yay! We solved. Cool. Uh, now uh, for the part two, <laughs> which is supposedly much harder, right? Uh, the resulting polymer isn't nearly strong enough to reinforce the submarine. You'll need to run more steps of the pair insertion process. A total of forty steps should do it. In the above examples, the more common element is B, occurring blah, 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 times, and the least common element is H, occurring blah, 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 times. Okay. Subtracting this produces uh, apply 40, it finds the most least common elements. What do you get if you take the quantity, the most common elements, and try to quantify the test? Okay, so the same but 40 steps, right? Um, hmm. Okay, let's put steps in here. Let's say it's ten. Um, part two is basically part one. Input. Forty, right? And this is exactly the same. Um, so let's say we want to see part one. Will it even? Okay. So now it takes some time. <laughs> uh, and I assume exponential growth, right? 
I assume exponential growth. Um, so in this sense, it doesn't really matter if we start from four letters or how much is here, 20, right? Because like after step one, you already like at, at 20. Okay, okay, so it doesn't work. Uh, fun, 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 fun. It doesn't work, okay. We could try to optimize it by I feel I feel it's not as simple. Okay, so let's take a hard long look at our problem. So you have a limited amount of pairs, right? And depending on the amount of pairs, we know which of them will grow. Shit just got real, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, but basically we probably do the same trick we did in one of our previous problems when we don't build the sequence itself, we just count all the elements in the sequence and just increase those counts, right? So basically, if we start with this, we can say there is one and n, there is one and c, and there is one cb, right? And then we also like use those rules, and if we have, for example, ch, well, okay, so we have n n, for example, and it means c, so we take the number of an n and replace it with n c and c n right kind of kind of would that work probably would right i don't see why not So rules stays, uh, stay, uh, we don't, I don't think we, we need something else. But yeah, algorithm is going to be different, but it's okay, I think. Um, the, and then we count letters in those, right? But, fuck, how do we count letters then? Okay, <laughs> uh, so we can produce like the amount of pairs if we do that. Um, and most of them will be, will be there twice, but some of them will be there only once. So, so for example, from, from this, we can say there's three ends, but when actually there is just two ends, right? And we can say there is, yeah, what the fuck? This would be tricky. We, we can actually produce, uh, this pseudo peer pairs which will be uh, which will never exist right except for start and end and then we count all ends here for example and divide this by two or we count all these divided by two right so this should work okay i like this i like this okay uh rules uh yes let's write Step two, right? Rules. Pairs. Okay, so we need um, so pairs is going to be the repeating pairs in here, but uh, yeah, we can probably build something from this. 
so what we're going to do is map vector uh, We'll say this, right? Or we can use actually, you know, how in Beam uh, they use this and this, uh, this is start and end. Um, Start with um, this is closure. Hi, Grishka. We start with um, um, No, we can start with empty sequence. And I think we do Let's use strings instead of pairs of vectors, right? Maybe. And we probably don't need part one because if you implement part two, uh, it automatically work, will work for part one. Okay, so we say we bump our string. We update the count for this pair, right? Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's try part two example. Uh, yeah, like this. So we have uh, one, 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 one. Looks like what we want, right? Next, uh, let's try with uh, real input. Problem like this. Okay, what's what was wrong? Uh, problem input. Okay. Okay, so we have two KK, which is seems correct. Two VO, also correct, right? Uh, we have three for something. No. We have start, we have end. Okay, seems to work, right? It works. Yeah, it's just pairs. So now we need to implement this step thingy. Uh, it takes pairs, it takes rules, and basically what it does is we go over each pair right and build a new sequence like this and uh, uh, pair will have like pair amount right and basically if some rules pair well, actually, I didn't never did this, and 
This is unfortunate because we changed this. Yeah, now now it's better. Okay. Uh, if some rules pair, if we have insert character, we do arc update. Um, okay, we need um, So it's basically uh, ink that accepts the new as well uh, because I would be super tired writing it all the time. So ink zero. Oh no, no, actually. Let's go. <laughs> Let's call, call it plus zero, right? And it's basically plus zero amount. Otherwise, um, This is basically our function, right? And here we want this. Okay. So let's see a sock. Okay, so let's try to run uh, part two for yeah, we messed up somewhere. Huh. I wonder where. Um, here. We can actually use Mr. R and here we can call three. Okay. Right, so this didn't work for some reason. What plus? Oh, okay, so plus zero is not. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's call it add. Okay, um, still not. Okay, let's let's um, this seems yes, and now we have we actually only did uh, we didn't do steps right. So this is steps, then we do frequencies and everything, but before we do that, let, let me take a look at this. Okay. Yeah, because we need step two. Okay, okay, something can be cast to something. Uh -huh. Rules, yeah, pairs. Okay, now it more it's more like it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what we do now is we calculate frequencies. 
the way we calculate frequencies is the way we calculate frequencies is we do <laughs> Okay, let's 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 try to reduce k, right? Um, we start with pairs and we start with empty map, and the functions that we are going to take is accumulator, pair, mount, right? Um, Basically, what we do is update substring uh, pair zero one add uh, amount update substring one to add amount like this. Uh, then we do what we do with frequencies is we remove start and end and divide everything by two right so this uh, this and this, I'm not sure if this sock has. Yeah, I'm not the case. Okay, so we just sock this two. Uh, then we say vowels. And then we say map. Oh, we can actually write a for loop. Uh, so right now, frequency is, is ch the amount, right? Freaks. Oh, it was right. I don't know. Map. Kind of, yes. Let's see. <laughs> uh, yeah, because actually what we need is this. Wrong command passed somewhere to sort actually. Okay, one, one, two. No, this is wrong. Okay, Good. let's see. This is wrong. <laughs> because of, uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Because I am calculating on the wrong. Thingy. Okay, so we have one of those, one of those. Yeah, this now it looks more legit. And um, sort. Yes, and we get the correct answer, right? And we get the correct answer. And we get the curtains. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I uh, think we got what we, what we wanted. Let's copy this. And that's it. Easy peasy. What about my private leaderboard? Anti gravity heaven solved second part. <laughs> Bad for you, bad for you.
I'm still the last, probably because I'm not um, the first one who sold this. Like, this depends on the order, whether you was the first. Who sold what, what, when. So. Okay, um, so we don't need that anymore. And here we basically need that. Yes, part one, part two, and then ten, forty, forty. Yes, ten, ten, forty. No reflection, but okay, yeah, that's it. Uh, fun task, fun task. Don't have anything else to say. Um, yeah, this wouldn't work actually. Let's move, let's move step and call this part one because this goes, uh, this will be part. Part two, part one, input, blah, 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 part okay. And here we are going to um, Yes, yes, yes. Can we simplify something here? I think I want to call pairs like that. It's not simplification by any means. But frequencies. Cool, 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 cool. Maybe we make it like this. Then we will want need this nested thingy. Right. Uh, let's also check that our script works. In day fourteen now. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, everything works. Let's commit, and that will be it for today. Day fourteen, year twenty-one, day fourteen. Fun task, not very hard, not very simple. Yeah, I like it, and maps pretty nicely to closure. Um, I feel I feel it maps pretty nicely to the closure. Okay, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, bye bye. Join tomorrow.